It's early 2009, and the Buccaneers have just fired John Gruden and promoted defensive coordinator Raheem Morris to head coach. With a change in leadership, it was time to move on from quarterback Jeff Garcia. So the Bucks draft Kansas quarterback Josh Freeman with the 17th overall pick. The storybook career of Josh Freeman was set. He was meant to be the franchise quarterback for years to come, until he wasn't. This is the retrospective of Josh Freeman. As the Bucks look to build off a promising 9-7 season in 2008, the decision is made to start Jeff Garcia while Freeman learns on the bench. The Buccaneers start 0-7 after getting crushed 35-7 to New England in London and come out of their bye week riding an 11-game losing streak. The decision is made to give rookie Josh Freeman the first start of his career and he helps lead the Bucks to a 38-28 win over Green Bay. Despite losing six of the last eight games that season, Josh Freeman goes three and six as a starter, throwing 10 touchdowns and 18 interceptions. There is reason to believe in the young QB. Fast forward to the start of the 2010 season, the Buccaneers have the greatest turnaround in franchise history. They become the first team in NFL history to start 10 rookies and finish with a winning record. Josh Freeman played a monumental role here, throwing for 25 touchdowns to just 6 interceptions. The Bucks just barely missed the playoffs at 10-6, and, and it seemed as though Josh Freeman was morphing into the franchise savior he was hoped to be. The 2011 season for Tampa Bay had all the ingredients of a Cinderella story, a 4-2 start, an upcoming QB, and hope. Then the losing started. The Bucks would lose the final 10 games to finish 4-12, as Freeman regressed significantly, accounting for 27 turnovers, including 22 interceptions, to just 16 touchdowns. The inconsistent play of Tampa resulted in Raheem Morris being fired and Josh Freeman spiraling. A new face arrived to the Bucks coaching staff as Greg Schiano instilled a new attitude to the team. Whether that was good or not remained to be seen. 2012 played out much better for Josh Freeman, as he had a career high in passing yards and touchdowns. But turnovers continued to plague him, as Tampa ended the year 7-9. Even with the play of Pro Bowlers Gerald McCoy, Vincent Jackson, and Doug Martin, there was something keeping the Bucks from the next level. 2013 is when Josh Freeman took a nosedive. Before the season began, there were rumors of tension between him and Shiano and Freeman missed the team photo and his teammates did not select him as a team captain for the first time since his rookie campaign. After an 0-3 start, Freeman was benched in favor of Mike Glennon. Then being unsuccessful in trading him, the Bucks released Josh Freeman. Freeman would be signed on an active NFL roster for the Vikings and the Colts while visiting the Giants and the Dolphins. A sprinkle of play with the FXFL developmental team Brooklyn Bolts and an even smaller taste of the CFL eventually led to Freeman retiring from the sport on May 26, 2018. Freeman made an immediate impact for Tampa and there was reason to believe in his play style. But sometimes there are unforeseen circumstances that prevent a player from being the guy. I wish the best to Josh Freeman wherever he is. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Tyler. Have a great day.